welcome back to Napoleon Total War with a great war mod last time around. We took Milan from the Italians. It was, though, um, is it called preceded? By a little bit of a disaster with a single Italian mortar unit was able to take out 700 men out of Paul von Hindenburg's unit or his army. It's quite uh, devastating there. We also had a naval battle, which I thought I'd uh, knock them right out of the park since my new ships were newly refitted, fully cannoned, while the enemy lacked crew and artillery, only 17 guns on their ships. Still, it turned out to be quite the fight. Hopefully, still, I was able to take back one of the ships that they had stolen from me, but my f uh, my fleet battles aren't going that well. What we're going to do today is I thought we'd go ahead and attack the Italians again, and we'll see how much we can do against them. As of now, I haven't seen an opportunity really to rise against the Russians, but it looks like the army of under Vasily Gurko is going to cross the bridge and he's going to meet Mackensen at Grodno, a large town there, and there's going to be a fight when I end turn. It could be that he doesn't decide to move over the bridge at all, and he decides to go around, possibly over there, and we'll have to chase him. Um, but yes, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to crush this Italian army, open up the road to Rome. I was about to say open up the road... I did not notice this army, wherever that one came from. So there's two Italian armies over there. You take out one Italian army, then another one appears. Or two appears. Um, should be able to push through here. The thing is, the hidden units in the forest. So nasty ambush if I go that way. thing is, if they actually put a lot of troops at the bridge... Might be more interesting. Could send a small, if like, cavalry unit or something. To have them just fall in the ambush, just to discover the enemy units. Anyways, enough talking. I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Now, obviously... I think... Can we go around this... I kinda wanna go this way to attack him. Oh, he intercepted me. He did not even... Right, what does he have? Siege artillery, troops, stupid mortars. There's not much for it. Let's go ahead and uh, take this guy down. And, well, sort of clear the way to Rome. Even though I specifically moved around so we didn't have to go on over the fight over the bridge. I guess they slipped across, so we're kind of, yeah, we're st it's still a bridge battle. Um, lined up most of my, I mean, m most of this army is Alpen uh, Corps units, but I have gone ahead and deployed these two, or assault infantry up front, to uh, stop them from crossing. And I placed most of my Alpen Corps on this side, ready to march forward on this area. While four units and the uh, Jaegers are on this side. Kind of unnecessary to have the Jaegers, since I all the uh, Alpen Corps are basically Jaegers, in a sense. So, uh, with that, there's lots of nice houses that I might take up position in. But... I mean, we'd have to take out their artillery first. Also, yeah, I forgot. My mountain guns will be riding up, taking a position overlooking here. With that said, let's go ahead and start. And I'm going to start by giving my heavy artillery its targets. It needs to fire. It's a fire on uh, the heavy artillery. Now let's rush. And then start marching these troops forward as well. 
looks like they're not deploying their artillery, but they're uh, actually marching. Kind of looks like they're kind of trying to march everything across. Let's get our uh, mountain guns up close and ready. The rear assault units will only hold for so long. Got Italian infantry trying to get across. Have they deployed their heavy guns? Yes, they have. And I'm trying to hit them with my guns. The bastards are coming across. I think they're uh, targeting my guns, or is it my forward infantry that's getting targeted here? Yeah, it's forward infantry. I don't know if I need. It's going to be hard to slip everyone across there. I at least get the Jaegers up through here. And then we can speed the Alpencore on that side. Speed it up to get to that position. So far, the Ruhr Assault is holding on. Let's have this one throw a few hand grenades onto the cavalry. A lot of those hand grenades were captured by the, or hit the, um, the wall there. Tried to split up the guns a little bit. Okay, it's time to retreat the hand grenade boys. Or actually what I'll do is I can set them up like this. Do you guys reach? That unit out there. If they if they want to get closer, just all the fire from the Alpen Corps is absolutely slaughtering the Italians. Oh, here comes grenades. Nice. Keep throwing grenades on them. It's loud as hell. There's only 13 guys left that needs to retreat. Give them another round of hand grenades. If they're within range, that is. Alright, time to get those two units retreat back. So we don't completely lose them. Two units here suffered heavily. This one needs to be pushed out. You forward. And then let's see if you can get up to the defensive line. And then these three get towards the woods. Jaegers, I want you to push up to the riverside. So Jaegers there. And the other one over there, and then these guys should start crossing the bridge. Good, good. I think we need to refocus the artillery on the troops coming across. Mountain guns doing their work. Looks like they're firing on these over here. Okay, so the units, the three uh, Alpencor units, slipping into the woods, setting up over there. You charging across, these guys crossing over there. Good, good. Putting a heavy artillery bombardment just as the enemy crosses. Lots of Italian dead crossing the river here. One other heavy block. 
There they are. I was just asking for where the heavy artillery was. Blasting the Italians to smithereens. Oh, this Jäger unit has lost 50. How come? How come it's lost so many men? Is it just through the mortars? How's it going crossing over here? You're going sneaky sneak. I want you to run over. I need you to get there quickly. Uh, these guns need to target... Target the mortars, in fact. And then these two units need to be moved up. To take part in the battle. You're down to 35 men. How have you managed to lose that many men? Oh, the Italians in the woods. Counter bayonet charge. It hasn't gone that well. Charging the Italians before. So maybe we shouldn't do it this time either. We'll shoot them down. Actually, there's only one unit left, and now we're probably team killing if we continue firing here. Hold your fire, and... Uh, bayonet charge! Italian group concerned attacked in the flank yeah the Italians were sent off good set up over there open fire 29 this group needs to come up behind the Italians and start shooting them through there. We get all the artillery bombarding the mortars on the other side of the river. As my troops move up to shoot down what's left. The Italian mortars can be quite deadly as we know. Actually, I want to blast these bloody guns. What is that gaining all the points back here? That kind of pops up. It's kind of okay that it turns up over there and not... Like in the middle of the screen. It usually... Uh, it's usually quite a drawback. What the... Oh, they had one guy left. This unit had one guy that was stuck way over here. The guy that didn't cross the river. Given what happened to the guys that did cross the river, I wouldn't blame him for not wanting to cross. We seem we have lost a lot of soldiers in this battle. Sixteen. Yeah, I'm gonna send you back. Now these troops shooting. Doesn't look like I will be able to use this army to advance on Rome after this. Given the losses. We're probably looking at Glorious victories, huh? at least it's a thousand men loss. Uh, lost, I should say. Enemy general shot down. And... Their army was now destroyed. Hold fire with the artillery. And you guys just shot everyone down at that point. There we have it. Victory.
I think it went pretty smooth. Could have probably gone a little bit better. Lost a lot of men during this battle. And here we have the results. So, out of... I lost actually more than what I thought. A thousand. I said a thousand. We lost the precise number of 1,300 men out of an army of 2,700. We'd leave about... Well, it leaves 1,450 men. The Italians, though, suffered basically everyone casualty, with only 18 men managed to get away. No unit destroyed, but as we can see, heavy casualties throughout this army. Highest kills goes to Siege Gun, followed by one of the Alpencore units. They managed to lose 131, so 69 remaining, killing 382. Then Ruhr Assault, of course they're doing a great job at the start holding the Italians off. And even though they team killed some of their own with uh, hand grenades, I think probably one of those hand grenades, uh, the one, that, the first he was able to throw at the cavalry, and then the second one when he threw into that mass of infantry group, that probably killed a lot. It also killed a lot of them themselves, but I already mentioned that. A good fight, and a clean destruction of that army. Unfortunately, though, I mean, 1,300 men, that's almost half the army. Because uh, we're almost, there is basically half the army. Um, resupply is low in this region. I think it's better in the Venetian region, just because I, the infrastructure is better there. Because, well, this is still on fire. Um, this region is pretty good that def uh, for defense, though. Oh, my Lord. And given the uh, bigger defense circle here, I could put it. I could put probably put Tim like there, and he could intercept them at the bridge wherever wherever that would be needed. So that's pretty good. And then these guys need to be reorganized. But I think that's it for movements. I think we might be able to. Maybe squeeze in another battle with the Russians here, <clears throat> if they want to cross, that is. Um, but first, of course, I need to end turn to have that happen. Gas warfare. We've entered a horrible period. Well, if it, it wasn't already horrible, it's just got a lot more horrible with gas being introduced. Uh, airplane detected. We've got another reconnaissance plane. Enemy raid. Florence. Italians are raiding their own towns. Ah, some of these ships have been recruited. The ones... Was that... Wait, did that say pre-dreadnought? Yeah. There... I mean, I'm only gonna need it to launch against Corsica. So it doesn't actually need to be any good ships. I don't intend them to fight. The Italians are actually moving troops away from the Piedmont region. But I'm wondering if that is not to kind of lure me in to attack them there. To have me march in and get ambushed. We're gonna have we're gonna have the Duke though move on them. Hindenburg needs to move in to be able to start getting some replenishment. It's not good, but it's something at least. Um, you're getting actually quite good replenishment in this region because you don't have that many like odd heavy equipment. That needs to be replaced. One thing that we should replace here. Oh, chlorine gas. Hmm. One thing that we should. I can't. Oh, I can't get machine guns here. Can I get machine guns here? Why can I not get machine guns? Is it because we don't have factories? What's the closest place that I can get the new machine guns to replace those? Can't get any here either. Is it because. 
I need some kind of industry stuff. This one's tanks. Tanks. Where's the machine guns though? Let's see. No, nothing. But I can get them. I can get them here. So I think it is. It is probably due to some factory. Like, I need a factory complex like this. Doesn't actually say the machine gun that's anywhere here. But it's probably some. I imagine it's something like that. Because I seem to be getting them in the factory regions. The British are setting up to launch another stack at us. So we'll have to take care, take l keep an eye out for that. The Russians, as kind of like I expected, are not moving to fight Mackinson. They're instead moving around. Kind of setting up in the forest over there. We're gonna follow. Looks like the Russians aren't really moving over here. They are. There are quite a few troops moving around in this region. So we should prepare for the possibility of them coming through here. How's it look at this army? Six turns until the, um, the guns are ready. Or the tanks. Should get some... Um, reservists to set up here. So I could possibly march all the way up to the Russian capital. They don't have that much here. We have a full stack at the bridge, kind of facing their own, trying to defend their own way. They do have quite a bit of fleet left. I was hoping it was just this one left, but they do have an additional one over here. I've seen troops move quite a bit across in Finland. I wonder, because Sweden's a really good friend, so is Norway and Denmark, if I can get the Scandinavians to join me. I imagine that Sweden does have quite the fleet. Like, I can get the, um, the Scandinavians to join the war on our side, and that would help me greatly in the Baltic. And maybe instead of uh, freeing Finland as its own nation, I could uh, give it to Sweden. They don't... One thing is troublesome. Finland? Yeah. I mean, I can't trade with Finland anyways because they don't have... Even if I go across and release Finland, I wouldn't be able to trade with them because they don't have a port. Oh, uh, yes. But that's about it, I think. The other one I thought, the other episode, the last one, or the, the one before this one. Oh, yeah, one thing I need to do is we need to set a new g with general for this army that we're going to send across. So I'm thinking this guy, because he's got mobile warfare specialist, natural scout, confident general, and cunning general. So it's a g I think that's... Probably the best one of these, even though this guy has more stars. Um, I think this is the one we're going for. He's going to be in charge of uh, being sent across. Either if we're going to go directly to aid the Irish. Or though I intend to destroy the Irish and just make them my puppet. So I think we'll... This will our goal will be to send it across to Scotland. Thing is, I've seen Royal Navy ships moving around here, which I'm hoping they're just going down the coast and going into port here. Maybe I don't know if I have the movement range. We got French fleet that needs to be moved away. Um, I could get someone moved through here, land here, but I guess the easiest way would be to pick up someone s way away from the enemy fleets, so I guess in here, and then try to send it across 
and land the troops. But we got the general. We've got the cannons. Quite a few of them. I'm thinking this army could do well with cannons. I do. Uh, we're gonna have the railgun being tested out on the British as they cross. I should get tanks here as well, and we will use tanks on the British. We'll inv inv invade with tons of tanks, rather than going against the Russians. I kind of want to. Um, at this point, I kind of want to slow down a little bit, just because I want the enemy to reach my technological level. Like, I want to be facing enemy tanks. I want the enemy to field gas. I want the enemy to be fielding stuff like that. Because I've taken over so many like, research centers, I'm so far ahead of everyone else. Or not really, actually. There's quite a few people. Quite a few. Um, because I noticed I was trading with Trade, I say trading. The um, my allies don't actually trade technology with me. It just ends up me giving them. So I noticed the uh, Austro-Hungarians actually have two technologies that I would like. At least I would like the cavalry one. I tried to trade it for everything I had, all the technology I had. He said no, so I just ended up giving it to him. Um, I don't think I've given anything to the Turk, but the Turk hasn't actually done anything. He has done nothing so far. He hasn't even, as far as I've seen, he has, hasn't even moved on the Romanians. Um, which we should actually see once when this plane comes across here. Look at that! We've got Austro-Hungarians moving in this region. We have a broken down... Romanian army over there, could they have fought each other? Now, and they have the Bosnian Herzegovina infantry battalions. It's a mi mixed match of uh, the late. Oh, look at that. The Turks are actually doing something. It's quite a lot of them. There's four full stacks. And there's not a lot actually defending the capital. That could fall pretty easily and be swallowed up by the Ottomans. And then they could continue. But my allies, they aren't very aggressive. I mean, at least the Austrians took out Belgrade. So that's something. But otherwise, they have been... I mean, th they should be moving here along this route. They have moved, they moved troop this way. For some reason, it kind of stops. So I'm not sure what's going on. Anyways, I think we'll end it there. For the next one, I might have played through a bit. And we will be set up to use the railguns on the invading British. Or I'll be ready to attack the Italians over here. Or who knows what I've got in the store once we come back for the next one. But, with all of that said, I say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!